All right, guys, let's talk about some MCU filming news. And we actually have some updates here. So I'm going to talk about this in, in a few segments. But starting off here, Daredevil Born Again. I think one of the more anticipated projects in the upcoming MCU slate. And honestly, you know, probably the only TV show I'm really substantively looking forward to in the upcoming MCU shows. Because, yeah, you know, Agatha's been Agatha. And Ironheart's coming out. And I, I don't know how to feel about Ironheart. Wonder Man, again, not sure. Nova, not entirely sure. But Daredevil, Born Again, Season 1. Because we are going to be getting Season 2 confirmed, I think, as long as the season doesn't bomb. I'm, I think they've already filmed some of Season 2. So we're probably going to get Season 2 no matter what. But Season 1... Originally, Daredevil Born Again was going to be 18 episodes, which would have been great. But, you know, I think that Marvel decided, hey, let's kind of maybe not do that if we're not going to have as good a quality, which is totally fine by me. Make the best show that you possibly can. And they're deciding to go to uh, two seasons of nine episodes each. So season one is going to officially premiere. This is the first announcement on March 5th, 2024. So that is going to be in just under five months, I believe. And that's really exciting because... It's going to be the return of Daredevil, I think, to his true roots because the other thing that was announced, so, you know, three things were announced. The release date, because um, Vincent D'Onofrio and Charlie Cox were at New York Comic Con, and so there were a few announcements made about Daredevil Born Again. So the three big things that I caught were the release date, March 5th, 2024. Second thing being that this is going to be officially, and unsurprisingly, TVMA, and also related to that, apparently Daredevil says the F word, so... If you're into that, you're into that, I guess. Um, for those of you who enjoyed seeing Chris Pratt, you know, say the first, give the first F bomb in the MCU in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, sure. I don't think necessarily it makes it any better or any worse, but it is what it is. But again, just pointing to the fact that this is going to be, I think, hearkening more towards the darker side of Daredevil. And I think that that's appropriate, right? Because I personally, right, I think that every appearance of Daredevil in the MCU thus far, She Hulk, Echo, two shows that I don't think a lot of people like very much, but I think his appearances in both, even though they were completely different than what we were used to, were great. I liked him. I really did. But I think that we're all going to love the return of the Daredevil from the Netflix series. That was one of the first television shows I think I ever watched, and it was awesome. I loved all three seasons of Daredevil. I even liked, you know, the season of Defenders that I watched, and, and that was in large part because of Daredevil. He was obviously the center of that show as well, and him and Elektra. And so I, I'm just so excited that Charlie Cox is getting the opportunity for, not redemption, I mean, everyone loved him, but just to come back into the MCU and be a big part of it, I hope, because we, you know, we talked about this in the last week's episode in a podcast segment where we were like, well, what's his role really going to be, though, right? Like, in, in the larger universe, you know, we haven't seen daredevil in the the movies we don't we've only seen him in the television shows so is he just gonna show up randomly in avengers doomsday and everyone's gonna be like isn't that the guy from the cameo from spider-man who is he why is he a superhero it's gonna be interesting to see how they integrate this into the mcu proper or if they're going to at all it would be a big bummer if he never shows up on the big screen right he deserves to i think and not just as the matt murdoch cameo in spider-man no way home so i hope that that you know this is a good sign forward and and we'll see. We'll see what happens here. But I, I'm very excited about, about Daredevil Born Again. So those were the first two announcements that we got. But the third one is that we have our first uh, synopsis. I almost said premise. I guess premise, but synopsis for the show. And, you know, I'm going to read it out loud here. I don't think we really get a whole lot that we, we didn't know already. But I think it's still fun to just get, a, you know, official words from the uh, from the show itself. So this is the synopsis. In Marvel Television's Daredevil Born Again, Matt Murdock, played by Charlie Cox, a blind lawyer with heightened abilities, is fighting for justice through his bustling law firm, while former mob boss Wilson Fisk, Vincent D'Onofrio, pursues his own political endeavors in New York. When their past identities begin to emerge, both men find themselves on an inevitable collision course. Again, really nothing that we didn't know before, but I still think it's fun, obviously, just to get some more details about the show. It looks like they're going to be, it's going to be a little bit more political, I think, because Wilson Fisk is, you know, from Echo, he's running for mayor. And I think that their, their past identity, identities, obviously, being Kingpin and Daredevil, um, will, will begin to emerge from their civilian identities as Wilson Fisk and uh, I almost said Charlie Cox, Wilson Fisk, and Matt, Matt Murdock. So I think it's really exciting. I can't wait for Daredevil Board again, and it's coming out, I think, sooner than we think, March 5th, 2024. So guys, what do you think about this news for Daredevil Born Again? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for the show, or are you a little bit nervous? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments.